BBC Television presents... Hancock. Letter for you, Hancock. Don't bother to get up, I'll read it to you. Oh, no, you don't. You're just trying to be nosy, Sid. I'm perfectly capable of reading my own letters. Hold on a minute. Where did I put my bloody glasses? <laughs> Good news, is it? Mind your own business. It's not about a job, is it, by any chance? How do you know? You've read it, haven't you? I accidentally steamed it open about ten minutes ago. I was holding it while I made a cup of tea for you, and it just, uh, fell open. <laughs> Well, that's it. I shall inform the Royal Mail that on no account will they deliver any more of my mail into the grubby mitts of Mr. Sidney James Esquire. We will have separate letterboxes. I shall instruct people to use a wax seal. <laughs> Keep your hair on, Hancock. Anyway, congratulations on getting an interview for that job. Whatever it is. I don't want your congratulations until I have the pleasure of announcing it myself. Anyway, you know what job it is. You've looked at the letter. <laughs> Oh look, what a nice surprise. I've been offered an interview for the job as the new manager of East Team United. Oh, uh, I was right. Congratulations, Hancock. Well, oh, thank you very much, Sydney. I'm a bit curious, though. All right, what is it? Here we go. It's not like you to be curious. The blank wall of indifference is what we're used to in this village. Oh, go on. <laughs> it's only because you don't like football. Now, you're a football manager. Come, come, Sydney. You don't have to like something to be a manager. You're a betting shop manager, but you told me you don't like horses. If you remember, we were talking about funerals, and I said I didn't like hearses. <laughs> anyway, you haven't got any experience. Au contraire, Sydney. I've got plenty of experience. A lifetime of experience, all of which I can put to good use. Anyone can be a manager. In fact, some of the biggest idiots in this country are managers. <laughs> oh, that's why they gave you the job, is it? <laughs> but you've always told me you know nothing about football at all. Wasn't that an important part of the job? That just goes to show you don't really know me, do you, Sydney? In fact, I was the last person in this country to win the spot the ball competition in Titbits. That takes some skill, you know, some intimate knowledge of the great game. There's a picture with two players jumping and hanging in the air in front of goal. Where do you put your cross? Uh, on top of the player's head, I suppose, or in the goal. That's where they all go wrong, Sid. It's up the other end of the ground and the mascot has got hold of it and won't let go. <laughs> So, when was it when you won the Spot the Ball competition, Hancock? It was 1989. Apparently, there's not many people who go in for it anymore. We take it in turns to win. You must have some other experience. Have you ever played the game, Hancock? You don't have to play football to be a manager, Sid. Has Richard Branson ever driven a train, for example? No. Do National Health Services managers like patients? No. Does Jeremy Clarkson know anything about cars? No. <laughs> Do his Team United know you hate football? Of course they don't. I might have embellished a few inconsequential details, but no matter. The chairman of Miss Delia Smythe is coming around this afternoon to meet me and my new signing for the team, Lionel Messi. <laughs> if the meeting is successful, I will be offered the job. You mean to say you've got Lionel Messi interested in playing for East Team United? You're a genius, Hancock. How on earth did you pull that one off? I'll hang around to meet him. I can't believe it. Me and Lionel Messi in the same house. No, I'd rather you didn't, Sid. There are some delicate negotiations yet to do. The whole deal could fall through. It's secret. We don't want the press to get wind of it. We need to let the boy settle down first. Let him get used to his new surroundings. Oh, I wouldn't miss it for the world. You'll have to throw me out, Hancock. It's the only way you'll stop me from being there. Well, if you insist, Sidney, I'll just roll me sleeves up. <laughs> Good evening. Oh, you know who I am. I'm Lionel Messi. I'm famous. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Hancock. Yes, don't worry, Lionel. We know who you are. That's why you're here. It's lovely to meet you. This is Sid James, my uh, assistant manager. Hello, Lionel. I'm Sid James. I'm a big fan. You've got a sweet right foot. Yes, oh, my right foot is insured for £500 million, but I got my left foot on a free transfer. 
yes, yes, yes. Sid will take care of all that. He's the boss of the boot room. You haven't met him, have you? Oh, no, of course not. I'm famous. All my boots are made from solid gold. I wouldn't let him anywhere near them. You mustn't touch me. <laughs> uh, cheers, Lionel. Thanks for that. Yes, that's enough, Sid. You leave Mr. Lionel Messi alone. Just sit there and observe a champion. Make sure you've got a magic sponge and a bucket of water, just in case. We don't want Lionel doing himself a mischief before he kicks a ball for his team, do we? <coughs> ah, good. That will be Delia Smythe. Yes, hello, Mr. Hancock. Good to meet you again. After that wonderful interview you gave, where you blinded us all with your knowledge of the spot the ball competition. <laughs> There you are, Sid. What did I tell you? You think you know me, but there's parts of me you know nothing about. I keep my footballing history up here. It's all there. A lifetime in the game. If only we could get inside your head, eh, Hancock? <laughs> oh, and this must be Lionel Messi. I must say, you look a bit different to how you look on TV, Lionel. Ah, uh, Delia, but this is the real Lionel Messi. He's too big a personality to fit on the small screen. Yes, thank you very much, Sid. I think Delia and myself know what the greatest footballer in the world looks like. We both know our Messies from our tidies. Ha ha ha. Pleased to meet you, Miss Smythe. I'm incognito, in case any fans mob me. Are you the lady who gets drunk at football matches and starts swearing a lot? <laughs> oh, of course not. What sort of lady would do that? That's not a Spanish accent, Mr. Hancock. You're right there, Lionel has got a perfect English accent on account of playing for Plymouth Argyle when he was an exchange student back in the 80s. Ha ha ha, I didn't know that, Lionel. How silly of me. Yes, Plymouth, I can recognise it now. He's been eating too many pasties, the naughty Jenna. He's put some weight on. <laughs> yes, Delia, but we're all happy to have Lionel on board, aren't we? After all, he's the greatest goalkeeper the game has ever known. Not half I am. They call me the hyena from Argentina. I never let a goal in. My net is unsullied. I won't let anybody put their balls in there. Oh, Lionel, why do they call you the hyena from Argentina? I don't really know. I never asked. You don't get hyenas in Argentina. It's a bit stupid if you ask me. <laughs> Oh, I know, it's on account of his spring deal here. He can cover the whole goal in one leap. And he laughs like a hyena too. Yes, thank you, Sid. Let me deal with the football technicalities. Thank you very much. Oh, it just might be because of my short, fat, hairy legs. And my laugh. <laughs> just said a goalkeeper, Lionel. Are you sure? I thought you were a forward, a winger. Yes, if I might explain, Delia. He used to be in his younger days, but now, as a mature man, he likes playing in goal. We've got to let the lad branch out, find himself. This is a new culture, a new club. My boy must be allowed to spread his wings. Oh, quite, quite, Mr Hancock. But we already have a good goalkeeper, Jeff Bishop. Ah, Jeff Bishop. With all due respect, Delia, you can't compare Jeff Bishop with Lionel Messi. The lad's a beanpole. He's outgrown his strength. <laughs> I'll have you know, Mr. Hancock, Jeff is my son-in-law. Ah, oh, yes, of course, Delia. Well, they can take it in turns. Team rotation. Mondays it's Lionel, Tuesdays it's Jeff, and so on. <laughs> but we don't play every day, Mr. Hancock. Well, it's time the team did. They want to keep fit, don't they? Oh, well, we'll sort it out later. I'll be off now, Mr. Hancock. I'll come tomorrow to meet your other potential new signing, Ronaldo. <laughs> Yes, indeed, Delia. He'll be here on the dot, don't worry. He's in the hotel practising at the moment. What on earth is he practising in the hotel room, Mr Hancock? Well, I think it involves a mirror and taking his shirt off. <laughs> Good morning. Oh, Mr. Hancock, isn't it? My name is Ronaldo. I'm a legend, especially my bicycle kick. I came on it. Came on what? On oh, me bike, of course. I've been practising me bicycle kick, silly. I'll take me bicycle clips off if you don't mind. They do chafe me ankles. Yes, yes, Ronaldo, feel free. By the way, I hope you don't mind me saying, but you look a lot like Lionel Messi. <laughs> Oh, how dare you? Oh, I don't look like him. I lose him. He thinks he's a better footballer and he's better looking. Do you want to see my six-pack or my slapovers? <laughs> Hello again, Manager Hancock. 
Lionel's here again, I see. But where's Ronaldo? No, that's Ronaldo, Delia. Lionel's gone back to the hotel. Are you sure? I need to put my glasses on. Oh, that's better. The only way to clearly identify me, Miss Smythe, is through my six-pack. I'll show it to you. That will prove to you I'm the, the svelte Ronaldo, not that tubby little Lionel Messi. <laughs> No, it's all right. Well, maybe later. But you could be twins. Please, hey, all right. Arnold Schwarzenegger and Danny Baker. I mean, Danny DeVito, you mean. I'm the Arnold Schwarzenegger, if you didn't know. Well, I don't know how you're going to play for the same team. You're both East Team United now, you know. Uh, don't worry, Delia. We'll probably alternate them. Lionel one match, Cristiano the other. Right, that's it, Sid James. I've worked you out. There's something fishy going on here, and you're behind it. Who is this fellow? He's pretending to be two people, isn't he? You couldn't even afford to hire two common, could you, to do it properly? Look here, Cristiano Messi. You can clear off. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, Hancock. I thought I could give you a hand. Make sure you got the job. Oh dear, it appears, Mr. Hancock, that you've been making a fool of me. You and your signings are all frauds. I withdraw the job offer immediately. You are no longer being considered for the position of manager of East Team United. That's hardly fair, Delia. You're not giving me a chance to show you the old Hancock magic, the half-time substitutions, the Hancock time at the end of the match. <laughs> Yes, you've got to stop interfering in my life, Sid. That was a nice little job, and you've ruined it for me. I could have ended up at Manchester United, you know. That's all they need. <laughs> but you wouldn't even have got this job without my help. They only considered you because they thought you would bring Ronaldo and Messi to the club. I hadn't got him to contact you. You'd have never have thought of the idea. Now, what's this in the paper? East Team and Ice Hockey Team are looking for a new manager. No experience, must like ice. <laughs> well, you can't skate. Wait a minute, though. I can teach you. <laughs>